Prophet Test Kabile, 7750 Media. We are on the 6th of November 2024. And it is the 5th of Sheshvan. 6 times 11 for the 11th month is 66. 6 times 9 for November makes the number 54. It is 4.20 in the morning. The Lord woke me up shortly before 4. Following a dream of a certain actress from Katlehong who decided she wanted to have interactions with me over a period of about two to three weeks between the 22nd of June, 2022 up to the 9th, or roundabout day, of July 2022. Remember that I married a Westminster system bully boy born in 1966, declared as the beginning of the Satanic Age by First Church of Satan founder Anton LaVey. It celebrates the great Satanist Alistair Crowley of the Luciferian motto, do what thou wilt shall be the whole law. In other words, the followers of Lucifer have only one law, do whatever you want to do and with no restraint. This is quoted in a book titled the Babylonian Code. Proverbs chapter 29 verse 18 in the voice says, Where there is no vision from God, the people run wild. But those who adhere to God's instruction know genuine happiness. The Passion says, Where there is no clear prophetic vision, people quickly wander astray. But when you follow the revelation of the word, heaven's bliss fills your soul. A stubborn servant can't be corrected by words alone. For even if he, he understands, he pays no attention to you. How very apt. There's only one person, pardon me, there's only one kind of person who is worse than a fool. The impetuous one who speaks without thinking first. <laughs> Sadly, fools are often impetuous and they speak without thinking. That's all the way up to verse 20 in the Passion. My sister Lindiwe was here to drop off our nephew yesterday afternoon. Remember that I've been saying it was on her 54th birthday that I was subjected to the most vicious attacks, supposedly for threatening to distribute or publish lists of people's names on Facebook. I have consistently stated that this famous actress from Katlehong, who was 52, going on 53 at the time, interacted with me without any prompting from me on Facebook Messenger. But on the 22nd of May, 2024, the lawyer of the Goliath, the uncircumcised hero of the satanic age, claimed that I am talking about my experiences and about people I have had no interaction with. Satan is, of course, the father of lies. John 8, 44 says, You are the father. Pardon me, you are of your father, the devil. And it is your will to practice the lusts and gratify the desires which are characteristic of your father. He was a murderer from the beginning and does not stand for truth because there is no truth in him. 
When he speaks falsehoods, he speaks what is natural to him, for he is a liar himself, and the father of lies, and all that is false. The letter of the lawyers of the uncircumcised Goliath of the Satanic Age also stated that I use scriptures to support my flawed opinion of their client. It is a well-known fact that truth is a defense in a defamation lawsuit, and especially in matters that involve issues of public interest, such as murder plots or medical malpractice and the like. Abusing the law, committing perjury, and intimidating and threatening someone, as well as bullying them, and any other type of harassment are also matters of public interest because the people that get murdered in the end are usually subjected to some type of harassment before whoever is threatening and bullying and doing all of those things gets to the point of plotting and carrying out a murder. I made it clear that before I found my one-stop shop dossier of evidence or body of evidence in my house and my home on the 3rd of September, spelling 37 of the year 2023, the Lord prepared me by getting me to research the sex magic diaries of Alistair Crowley. And please note that I said the sex magic diaries of Alistair Crowley, an English occultist, Satanist, and ceremonial magician. Closer to the time of finding the one-stop shop body of evidence in my home, the Lord instructed me to look up sex diaries that were published in the media. True to his word, because God is not a liar, I found out that RFK Jr.'s wife committed suicide after finding her husband's sex diaries in their home in September 2013, 10 years ago last year. But before she took her life, she gave the diaries to a trusted friend and confidant, and she issued the instruction that they should be published if something happens to her. It is a fact that many women are killed by their own husbands, boyfriends, and children in gender-based violence year after year. And those who have resources and money will spend both to defend themselves in order to avoid facing justice. One of the cases the Lord had me study during the time when the mafia doctor family of the law attempted to stage manage my disappearance from my home into their mental facility was the case of Jason Road. Multimillionaire property businessman Jason Road murdered his wife, Susan Road, on the 24th of July 2016 and was sentenced to a mere 20 years behind bars for the stage managed suicide. What is 20 years? for the blood that he spilled. On the 24th of June, 2023, Sam Human published an excerpt article titled The Most Evil of Them All, Pathological Narcissism in Its Prime. And it begins, there are many cases, each as calculating and as manipulative as the next. Jason Rood. Jason Rood's extramarital affair led to him killing his wife in the most barbaric, brutal, and violent way possible. In proper narcissistic fashion, Jason Rood went on and on about his wife's mental health, leading her to suicide. The script of narcissistic killers is so predictable. 
The full title of Sam Human's book says the most evil of them all when narcissism turns deadly. I will explore this later, but I'm going to leave it here for now. Thanks for listening.